I'm JC at Motorcycle Superstore and this jacket from Olympia is their brand new Switchback 2. This is new for 2015. It replaces the old Switchback jacket. This is going to be right around $240 at full retail price. The one you see in front of you today is the black computer and Curtis is wearing a size large. This is the size he would order. You can check out his specs. There are obviously other sizes available. Now, the way this is constructed, it's essentially a two, maybe three season jacket, and that's because it has an interior liner system, but basically it sort of hinges towards the warmer climates. Lots of mesh materials. However, the main chassis is made from a 500 denier Cordura, and that's a really nice name brand fabric. It's going to be great for resisting impacts and abrasion. You'll see those in those critical areas here, predominantly the shoulders and the elbows, but also throughout the rest of the jacket as well. This is a ballistic air mesh, so it's going to be resistant to tearing as well. However, it's going to allow for a lot Lots more airflow. So this jacket's really going to work for touring riders in those hot climates. It is a touring and sport touring type jacket. Now most of the things that you're going to be carrying with you on those trips, you'll have to stick somewhere else because in terms of storage, it doesn't have a whole lot going on. So let me point those out. You have basically two pockets on the exterior here. These are hand warmer style pockets operated by zippers and they do have a zipper garage to help keep moisture away from it. The liner on the inside is going to be a windproof and waterproof liner. The cool thing about this, it can be removed and worn over the outside of the jacket. So that's going to give you that full waterproofing you're looking for. That's a ripstop nylon. Also, you're going to be able to take that and use it as a casual piece. If you just want to throw that on over a hoodie or whatever while you're off of the bike, it'll work great in that capacity. So some other features about this. You have this collar which has a good height to keep the elements at bay. Also it is fully circumference with neoprene so that's going to give you a lot of comfort with this jacket. On the back you see more of those air panels we were talking about. An adjustment on this jacket is going to come in the form of the snaps here on the waist and also down lower some velcro straps as well. You'll find this on both sides. Now some of the upgrades from the Switchback 2 you're going to find an elongated tail which is going to be better for those sport bike or sport touring type uh, areas. Also, more mesh panels here on the arms that weren't there previously and the updated styling. Now on the inside of the jackets, if you want to unzip that for us real quickly, check out in here. We have one zippered pocket on this side here. Very easy to access. This is the liner we mentioned and as you can see, it comes out very easily. Nice, wear that casually or put it over the top of the jacket, keep it in place, whatever you want to do. Underneath that, you also have the mesh liner for more comfort. This does use CE approved armors in the shoulders, elbows, and back. This is all CE approved and they're all articulated, so that's going to help it be a little bit more flexible as you break this jacket in. Find more details on this online, see the pricing there. Leave me some comments and subscribe on YouTube for more product videos.